politics, economics, religion, health care. This is Crossfire. Drunken Crossfire, where the issues of the day are discussed by four extremely inebriated people. Our panelists tonight, Fish. My name's Fish. I'm independent. I've been drinking since 10 o'clock this morning. Dustin. I think we should have done a lot more than what we did in Saddam. We should have bombed them a lot more than what we did. And you can take that to the bank. Bob. I'm a Republican. You got a problem with that? I've had 12 beers a day and, and, and 12, 12 beers today. If that cop gives you any trouble, you come to me. And Gabe. I'm fat. Uh, I sell uh, uh, insurance, health care insurance. Yeah! And now your host, Doug Stanhope. This evening on Drunken Crossfire, we'll be discussing the competency of the current chief executive. Many people insist President Bush is not an intelligent man. How do you see it, panelists? He's a president. How smart can he be, for Christ's sake? All I got to is I'm a Democrat. Screw George, screw the other George. If Bill Clinton was in office, he would have had it done in a weekend. George Bush is a faggot. And why did he do it? Why did he do it? Because they're screwing us. We're going to screw that even harder. How smart do you have to be to be the president? With all the intelligent people George Bush surrounds himself Obviously. with, how smart does Obviously. he have to be? Not smart Ronald Reagan was president, just Not another smart. actor. Who gives a s***? <laughs> Anybody can <laughs> Hell, I should be f***ing president. It's your country. Why should you not give a s***? I think George Bush illustrates how smart you don't have to be. Bill Clinton got the job done. Oh, oh, he got yes. the s*** oh, done. Oh, George Bush. Yeah, you got the Gabriel. bull was job done. Reagan right. was a jerk. They're all jerks. You don't know you. We got to go to our Still last question. Should there be a law prohibiting flag burning, or should it be protected as free speech? Panel. Of course, it should be protected. Why should you flag burn? That's terrible. You should never flag burn. Bob. You know what? If you don't like this country and you don't want to live in it, then get the gosh darn hell out That's of it. Right. I'm get telling you what. That's right. That's what they John Walker Lind and he walked right away. Hey, Gabriel, what do you think? But I got to say, if you don't like the country, get the hell out. Don't That's burn right. no flag. This is the United States of yeah, America. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You burn a flag in front of me, I'll stomp your ass to the ground, punk. Okay. Yeah. 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 What if a baby was on fire and all you had to put it out with was a flag? The flag catches on fire. Should you go to jail at that point? Hell no! Hell? Put that hey. baby out with that flag! Fuck that, That'd hey. be absolutely honored! What, what kind of question is that? That's a legitimate question. Sin. That's a what terrible the... question. Because you know what? All these people have fought for this country to make it free, to make it the United States of America! And God yeah. darn it, we're all entitled to be free and drink and enjoy everything that we That's do. That's it tonight for Drunk and Crossfire. Yeah. We'll see you next week if no Hell one gets killed. Yeah. Booze to the world! And that's all for this edition of Drunken Crossfire. Stay tuned for PCP Perspective.